The Atlanta restaurant industry is being called out and exposed in real time by famous food critic, TikToker Keith Lee. We're going to talk about it in today's video. How is this happening? How bad is it? Welcome to the Mind of Moon, dog. Let's talk about it. So Keith has been on this nationwide tour as he's been going to many small business restaurants to taste their food in hopes of shining a light on what they have to offer. And it's a great thing. It's It's been an, a huge boost for his page on TikTok talk and his brand uh, he's really shining a light on a lot of small businesses that struggle with uh exposure marketing uh getting to an audience that can help drive their sales and their business up and all this stuff and the best thing about this is that he's doing this at zero cost to those small businesses he's relying on you know what he might be getting from uh the content itself on tiktok and brand deals but the fact that he's not charging the small businesses these small business owners restaurant owners is amazing and he has really changed a lot of people's lives and their businesses uh from what he does with his authentic honest reviews on the food and the service so with that being said, if you don't know, now you kind of know the backdrop or some context of, on what's going on here. More recently, he's been going around the country on this nationwide tour, various cities, testing some of the more popular restaurants and food items from those cities. In fact, he was here in Chicago not too long ago where he did a taste test on uh, fried wings from Harold's and Uncle Remus. And that was very controversial because if you're a Chicagoan, you know, you're, you're one side or the other. There's, there's no, I like both. It's you're one or the other. And this can be said of many other cities where he stopped into and checked out some of their like key restaurants or their taste, taste of their key foods and gave his feedback on it. But here we are in real time. He is currently in Atlanta doing a taste test and a food review rather on some of the kind of um, hallmark restaurants, some of the more popular restaurants that people talk about you need to go to when you get to Atlanta. Let's take a look at this video because this has really exposed how bad the restaurant inter industry is in Atlanta. Check this out. Fresh off the plane, ATL, the first place we went to is Atlanta Breakfast Club. I got it, let's try it, and read them on to 10. The custom service was interesting. While the people were nice, the rules they had set were very unique to me. So right off the bat, we're talking about rules at restaurants which sounds crazy to even think about. Why Why do you have rules at restaurants? They just tried to do takeout. Well, when we came in, they said we couldn't sit down and there was no space at the bar for us to stand. So we had to stand outside and order our food. And what? then we decided we just gonna dine in. But two people in our party stepped out for a second. Cause again, we fresh off the plane. So everybody was trying to get situated. The waitress, again, she was nice, but she told us she couldn't take any orders or she couldn't do anything until everybody sat down. No water, no coffee, no drink orders, no nothing. She also Bro, out of the gate? I'm out the door. Like what kind of what kind of a business are you running here if you are setting these crazy rules? Like I I genuinely want to hear the justification for something as simple as that. Like I can't start taking orders until everyone's at the table. Why? Is there a logic behind this? Because it makes no sense. It's a frivolous rule. So say they can only do one order and there's no add-ons. Like if you want to add on afterwards, it's a wrap. One order for the whole table. She wouldn't even wait. Wait, so you don't want more business? Imagine sitting down and you're having an amazing meal and you know what? I want more. I want, you know what? I, I want to have another serving of this. So let me get a, a little extra side of that because it was so delicious. You're going to say no and not make that sale? <laughs> what? What? And the fact that Keith is being very, he's being very PC about this. You know, he he's, he's... Any other person would have been calling him out off rip. You know what I'm saying? He's being very nice about how he's wording this. A real testament to his character. Been explaining menu to us. But again, she was very nice. I just understand that those are their rules. Unique to me, but it is what it is. I'm going to show you everything I got, and we're going to try it. And we're going to want to see him. Peach cobbler French toast. A breakfast bowl with okay. eggs, bacon, cheese, and a biscuit. Last but not least, salmon croquettes. Peach cobbler French toast. It's separated, which I appreciate. Let's go take a look at the comments. Just on this first stop on the tour here. Here we go. First one out of the gate with 63,000 likes. Keith about to expose ATL restaurants. And the fact that that is the first and most liked comment says a lot about what is going on in the Atlanta restaurant industry here that so many people already are calling it out. I, I, I mean, it's one thing if one person says, oh, I hate this restaurant because they got some rule. And you're like, yeah, OK. But when you have that many people all co-signing it, there's, there's a real problem. Like people are annoyed by this. Um, those rules are wild. 
unique to me. You are so polite, 100%. Anybody else would have been like, yo, this is some bullshit rules. What are you talking about? I'm gonna take my business elsewhere. This is about to be a humbling experience for some ATL restaurants. The rules sound like a hairstylist booking page. The customer service was interesting. The rules were unique. Keith is so polite. A dollar for butter. Well, you can kind of see what's going on here. People are echoing the same kind of sentiment, which is rules, what? These are absurd. And we'll, we'll watch a little bit of the re review here because the food seems like it might have been a little mid. You know, to have these kinds of rules and the food just being mid, it's, like it, wheat bread it makes it even worse. Toast. You can see where the French toast dip and absorb into the bread. I would say like 10% of the bread is coated in that French toast. The rest of it is just bread. And the peaches are the only thing that's hot in this. Six out of 10. This is the breakfast bowl. Oof. Eggs, bacon, and potatoes. Oof. You mean no jelly? No yes, jelly? Sir. Some syrup on a biscuit? Yeah. That's crazy work. The butter is a dollar. The butter a dollar? Yeah, they wanted to charge a dollar for butter? butter? butter. At a breakfast place? Swear to God, that was like. And that's the little cut. What little cut? That little cut. Yes. He, he's saying, he's saying. It need jelly for show. It's buttery, it's salty. It's, it's dry. It's a good biscuit. I just can't swallow it. <laughs> it's dry. That's like any biscuit. So I'm not faulting this biscuit specifically, but I am faulting. See, you hear my, how my words coming out? <laughs> but I am. Anyway, they didn't give them butter or anything to, to 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 help, you know, with the dryness of it all. Let's take a look at another video from a second stop on this trip. I've been hearing about Lil Baby's restaurant for a long time. So now I'm finally in Atlanta. I got it. Let's try it. I'm ready one through 10. We spent $129.48. As you can see, I'm back in the room with my pajamas on. I attempted to call them trying to pick up the food, but they told me they don't cook the shellfish and the seafood in separate oils. I'm allergic to shellfish, so no go for me. But I still got a bunch of food. My sister and my wife gonna try it. So I'm gonna get out of here. Oh. <laughs> it tastes very syrupy. Pure uh, sugar. Yeah, it's pure sugar. Yeah. I'm not a fan of a lot of sugar. I like very tart and watery lemonade. So this for me is a one. Ooh. I like Ooh. sugar and I think it's too tart. It's tart and syrupy. Yes, so I'm going two out of 10. Okay, so the jerk bag overall, I'm actually gonna go a 6.3. To me, it's too much going on and it's overkill. It's too salty as well. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with six. Honestly, if I had some lemon, I think this would take it all the way up to maybe even eight. Do you eat? So basically another mid review. Okay, so here we are at this last video he's posted as of the time of me recording this. Don't know if he's gonna do any more while he's down there or what, but this is a review of the real milk and honey taste test spot down in Atlanta. Boy, this one's a brutal one. Check it out. Me and my family are in Atlanta, and currently we are at the Real Milk and Honey. I got it. Let's try it and rate it 1 through 10. As you can see, I don't have any bags in my hands. We are at the Real Milk and Honey on Main Street and College Park. Before we came, we attempted to call our order in. We were greeted with an automatic message that said they do not take call-in orders. The automatic message said the only way you can do pickup is through DoorDash. We went through DoorDash, they was closed. But online, it said they closed at 5 o'clock. We went on DoorDash at 4 o'clock. But we were already here, so we just went inside. I stayed in the car and my family went in and they told them they were closed early for deep cleaning. Yet the door is wide open and it's people still going in and grabbing their orders. Now we have no idea if those people ordered beforehand or what the case is. Also, the people who relayed this message, my family said were really nice. It's just the rules. And so far being in Atlanta, I found some places do have unique rules and this is one of them. I want to be very clear. We're not blaming one person or saying one person was rude in plain terms. Don't call this restaurant trying to get nobody fired. Ain't nobody do nothing. This is just the rules they had. If you don't like their rules, their rules not for you. And for me and my family, the rules just went for us. We just not their target audience. For the record, afterwards, I did walk in and I did and they attended the services, but I respectfully declined. I'm a normal oh. person. I pay for my food like everybody else. I walk in spots like everybody else. We are all normal people. Respectfully, if you're not going to do it then, don't do it now. God bless. Yo, what he just said right there on that like voiceover edit speaks volumes. One, again, to his kind of character and not trying to openly call him out. And also thinking like forward of, man, I don't want other people to just go attack him on my behalf after this review. So he's trying to keep that down from from blowing up and, and being uh, negatively impact but at the same time trying to be honest about the experience and what blows me as he said right there was it wasn't until he walked in the door and they recognized him that all of a sudden oh yeah the kitchen's open what would you like mr lee we can make you whatever you know what i'm saying so uh that he rejected it which again is amazing because it says a lot about his character right here but this is problematic and it seems to be a recurring theme with uh, restaurants in atlanta that have these crazy dumb rules why wouldn't you take an order over the phone can anybody justify this uh, this is very weird like what's going on down there if nothing more 
raise awareness that you, you got restaurants that are doing this so that people can decide I'm not going to spend my money there. And that is how you get these places to recognize that like you got some dumb rules and until you change it, I'm not going to spend your money here and see how long they thrive. That's stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like what happened to take care of the customer? Only reason I'm even making this is to share my authentic and real experience like I always do. I don't mean no harm. I don't have no malicious intent. But I always say I'm going to be 100% honest. And that come with the good and the not so good. You don't know what nobody going through. So what we can't do is just judge off of somebody else's experience. If you would like to go to these places or any other place that I've been to, I encourage you to go try it for yourself and make your own opinion. This might be one of the only Keith Lee videos that I've seen that he doesn't actually review food in it. That wasn't meant to be a food video right i'm not talking about like some he might share about his family but like he's actually in food review mode he's in the car he went to go to a place to get food and he literally did not review anything because of these dumb rules you know what i mean like middle of the day and you're just not serving you're doing a deep cleaning why wouldn't you wait until after hours to do this stuff it just it don't make sense comments again the real milk and honey watching this reviews like yeah they they oof translation milk and honey blocked their own blessings with rules a keith lee review with no food is crazy owner somewhere punching the air <laughs> true atlanta has way too many rules i love the exposure of atlanta's nonsense i'm here for it listen the i can keep going on and on the overwhelming consensus says this and it's not even just on tiktok you go on twitter people are taking the videos these videos and posting it on twitter and saying the same thing, sharing sharing their horror stories about how bad the restaurant industry is in Atlanta with these rules. I've been to Atlanta like two or three times back in the day, not not more recently or whatever. And it was all right. Atlanta's not a food city. <laughs> you know, it's not a Chicago. You know what I'm saying? It's not like what we got over here. Best food city in the country. All right, it's not even up for debate. That being said, something's going on over there that they operate in a very different way. I don't know why, but if you are from down in the A and can explain what this is all about, please let me know down in the comments below. And if for those of you who are traveling down to the A, you might just want to pack a lunch at this point. It might not be worth dealing with these stupid ass rules just to get some mid food. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Come by my live streams. We can kick it live. Do a lot of this. Uh, the link to my live stream channel is down in the description. I'll see you all in the next video.